battery pack. And I believe there's 3.7 uh, volts for each. And of course, if you charge it all the way up, it's going to be 4.2 volts. Uh, now I'm going to change it to 18650 batteries, two sets of it. Okay, and hopefully it fits in this compartment. Okay, so I can see, as you can see, the the other one is actually swollen. All right, so there it is. Just need to pull that away. That's the BMS battery management system for the batteries. So this is how we're gonna wire it up. The first set of uh, 18650 is on the top, positive, negative, and the second one's on the bottom. Uh, just follow the B plus on the board and the B minus for the other set. Okay, so that one is actually good, and this one is actually swollen. Okay, so that was causing the speed to just drop down to the low uh, voltage. Okay, but we're gonna use the battery management system and attach our 18650 batteries to it. Okay, so I'm just testing it out or trying it out if it actually fits in. Because other uh, YouTubers actually put it on the side of the passive radiator, but I actually want to put it where it belongs in the battery compartment. So it looks perfectly fine there. Just need to make sure that the wires are not gonna be uh, too uh, thick and make it hard for the cover to close. So there it is, I actually connected the wires to, or, or soldered the wires to the batteries and to the battery management system. As you can see, um, of course I need to cover that up so we don't burn anything in there when we close the speaker. Okay, and then um, we're gonna see if it actually turns on. Well, I already turned it on before I recorded again. So if it doesn't turn on the first time, that means you need to connect the AC uh, power adapter to activate the BMS. So there you go, all five LEDs. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe and comment below if you have any questions. Thank you very much.